I'm here in the Epic TV Test Centre in Chamonix. My name's Dave Searle and today I want to talk to you about buying a new climbing rope. There are four main factors to consider when buying a rope. The first is the rope rating, so whether it's a single, a double or a twin rope. Also we consider the diameter, the length and whether or not it's got any kind of treatment. First of all, we're going to take a look at different rope ratings and what they're used for. Single ropes are typically used for rock climbing where the protection, i.e. bolts, is in a straight line. They are also used by people who are venturing out onto short alpine routes that don't require long abseils because they have more abrasion resistance than thinner ropes. You'd also use a single rated rope for any indoor climbing. Double ropes are used for multi-pitch routes where you need to be able to abseil further. They can be clipped to alternating pieces of protection so you can reduce rope drag. You must use double ropes as a pair because they are often too thin to belay with a standard belay device by themselves. Twin ropes are ideal for ice climbing or multi-pitch routes with an abseil descent. They must be clipped to the same piece of protection and they often require a smaller special belay device to safely hold falls. Ropes come in many different diameters and there's no right or wrong answer to which diameter will best suit your climbing. Thicker ropes are easier to hold falls with but are obviously heavier. Thinner ropes, which are lighter, are more prone to being cut in some situations. Thin ropes are really difficult to belay with, so we definitely recommend the use of a belay glove if you're using something which is thinner than 9mm. Ropes in the 9.2 to 9.8mm range are becoming more standard. But for serious climbers, opting for a thicker rope for working their projects and using a thinner sending rope to go for the red point is definitely a good option and will make your rope cover last a lot longer and give you better performance in both situations. For double or twin ropes, it's worth having a thicker diameter if you know you're going to be encountering sharp or abrasive rock like gritstone or granite. Thinner ropes are ideal for ice climbing or long routes where you need to reduce the weight but just be aware they can get frayed really quickly. You might already know what length of rope you need, but as a guide, sport climbers will use 70 meters or more. This is because a lot of routes on the continent are more than 35 metres and it's good to have the length to be able to abseil back down after you've finished. For alpine rock routes, 50 metres is perfect, but for most mixed climbing, 60 metres should be fine. If you climb on shorter crags or indoors or on easy alpine routes, having a shorter rope will be a lot easier to deal with. There are many different types of rope treatment on the market, but for our purposes there are three main categories that they fall into. Non-treated, sheath treated and fully treated. The purpose of any treatment is to try and stop water and dirt from entering the rope. Although this is impossible to achieve for a rope's lifetime, it's undeniably a big selling point for some. We recommend you get a sheath treated rope as a minimum, unless you only climb indoors or on really sunny days. I hope this has given you a good base of knowledge so you can choose the right ropes for you. Check out shop.epictv.com to browse our selection of ropes and other climbing equipment and also, if you need to, you can chat to one of our gear geeks to get more advice.